Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to wrap a pashmina on your head without looking like you have an extra head. So we all have pashminas, we love them, we wear them around our necks because they keep us warm during the winter, but how does one wear it on her head without getting tons of volume and just way too much cloth to work with? So I'm going to show you four different styles that you can do in this video. And since the video is so short, you know that since I can do four styles in this one video while explaining it, that you can do it too quite quickly. The first pashmina I'm going to show you is one of these kind of multi-toned hued pashminas, which are really cool because you can layer them on your head to make it look like you're wearing more than one scarf. So first thing you do with the pashmina is fold it so it will fit your head. If you want me to explain this, I can, but I do explain it in quite a few of my other videos. Just make it so the back hits about the nape of your neck. So I want the gray part to be showing at the front of my head. I'm going to tie it right now with one knot at the back. The key to not getting tons of volume with your pashmina is making sure that it stays close to your head. And when you work with it, don't create too many layers. So. I'm going to show you basically a turban that I'm going to do with this. I'm going to take the darker side and wrap it around so it hits the front. Now, if you don't want too much bulk on the side of your head, don't bring this layer too far to the front. Keep it near the back. So that's my first. And my second, hmm, maybe I'll have this light gray color showing. So I'll bring that one above. Oops, that didn't work. Okay, how am I going to do this? It's fun doing this with a webcam because it's not like a normal mirror whatsoever. So there we go. So th this is the key right now that I'm holding these two ends and I'm keeping them close to my head. Okay. Take these two ends and tuck them in at the back. Again, keep all your volume and everything that you don't want at the side of your head near the back because that will make it look good okay tuck in the ends again I'm just doing this quickly and I really can't see myself very well but it would be more neat if I was doing it in front of a mirror but there you go wrap number one with one of these multi-tonal pashmina scarves working closely to the head okay number two I'm going to show you how to do a basic fancy bun with a pashmina. This is one of those kind of single colored ones. Put it on your head so the two sides are hanging down evenly. Once again, you fold it so it fits your head properly. Once again, tie it at the back. Like so. Now what I'm going to do, again, I'm not twisting. So this is the difference between this and a square scarf. I take these two ends and bring them up above my bun and I tie a knot like so. Then I take this end and twist it around. So you're creating a little twist here. I just do it once because again you don't want to create too much extra bulk. Do the same with the other side. And then simply tie the two extra ends in a knot. So there you have a bun with the pashmina. Hard to get this off with a velvet headband and not showing my hair to all of you. But I'm good. Okay, number three. This is one of my favorite ones. This really pretty pashmina scarf. Okay, so once again with both the ends hanging evenly. This is going to be similar to the first one, except we're going to have the tails hanging behind my ear. And we're not going to do a knot at the back because some of you are complaining that you get too much bulk at the back of your neck. So with this one, take the two ends and simply crisscross. 
of the, like this. Take the first end, this is like a basic turban, except the only difference is you don't want the extra volume because it's a pashmina and they get really big very easily. First end. Second end. And really the challenge of the pashmina is just kind of holding everything together without having it fall apart on you. So now you have these two ends. I'm going to bring them around the side. And tie like that. There you go. Last one. This is a super easy tie that I'm actually going to make a whole video about. But here it is with the pashmina. And now my cat is trying to attack my scarves. Good job. So you take one of these scarves, make it so one end is hanging longer than the other. So one end is shorter than the other. Find where you want it on your forehead and tie it one side of the back. If you're hearing something in the background, that is the cat attacking the scarf. It's a miracle that I have any surviving at all. Okay, and you have this end, this is the shorter end, this is the longer end. Take this end and arrange the folds as you want it on your head, aka not too much bulk, but enough folds that it looks cool. So, as you get used to it, you will learn how to adjust it. So, that's kind of how I like it. Now you have a choice with how to fasten these ends. The easiest way is just to tie it, but you can also use a sort of scrunchie or a pin if you're not afraid of getting holes in your scarf. Once you're done this, you can add a little clip to it. And there you are. That's how you work with the pashmina. Please let me know if this video cleared up some of your problems. If there's any other questions that you have about pashminas, leave it in the comments section. Okay? Bye, guys. Take care.